that point at the very top, that is not just threat to humanity, okay? It's not just extinction. Um, that particular point is actually the, the point, uh, it's the point in which, um, we'll call it this, worst case scenario. It, it's it's worst case scenario. It's it's the scenario in which one single person has the potential to destroy all of humanity, due in particular to the fact that um, technology has advanced to such a degree in which um, you you could simply press a button. Uh, one one singular entity, one person, could press a button, and, and that would and that would spell the destruction of of humanity. So that side is actually the advancement of technology. Okay, um, particularly technology and weapons, uh, and then the bottom is time. So, with that said, um, we'll, we'll start at the beginning, and these are going to be rough estimates. I, I'm not going to use any hard numbers right now. Um, maybe I'll fill in those hard numbers after the video and you can see a little bit what I'm talking about. Maybe you can just use your imagination and figure it out. Anyway, so there's, there's going to be a line. Um, and it's, it starts here, um, at the bottom, where no time has passed in human experience and technology has not produced a single weapon. That's here. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that we basically now have a, um, an imaginary line that that we can we can imagine it kind of goes like you know something like that it, it's a line that hasn't yet happened and maybe won't happen but this line goes from uh, the the point where no weapons have ever been invented uh, and and no time has passed in human experience um, all the way to uh, our big, scary, green dot. And, and, and that, that represents um, humanity going extinct um, or, or, or having the potential to go extinct due to one person. Worst case scenario. So, I mean, you can imagine this line. But anyway... Uh, the, what I'd like to do is, is spell out that um, this quad, this this half of the graph, I guess, this would be um, humanity's safety zone. Okay, if, if we if we go, we can't even go above the green line at the very top. There's no going above that. Going above that green line is, is absolute, that is certain human extinction. This part of the graph, it, it represents nothing. This half, it's nothing, okay? Oh, now that we're through the preliminaries, So, remember, this point, no time has passed, no weapons have been invented. So here we are. Now something happened. Something happened right there on the graph. Now, what is it? Swords. I, actually, you know what, we'll, we'll say clubs. Clubs were probably the first weapon invented. Club, clubs were invented. and. and some human killed another human. What the? Okay. 
Okay, my poster fell. Ignore that. <laughs> so, some human invented clubs, right? And, and now, so... So what happens? What, what, I mean on the graph, um, obviously if, if that line continued to go across, humanity's fine. Uh, you know, so they invented clubs, now they're killing each other, uh, using this big bulky, uh, weapon, but due to, I mean, all, all the factors that you can imagine, society, um, people looking down on you, killing other people with clubs, uh, people killing you if you kill other people with clubs. You know, we're not trending um, in a way that represents any serious threat to the species. We're actually just looking at a, a weapon has been introduced, threat level has been raised to humans, but it's, it's just, it's negligible. We, we've, we managed it. We, we can manage a club. You throw a club in the mix and people are like, okay, well, you know, we, if we see someone walking around with a club, we, we got to be wary of that motherfucker. He looks mad. So what's next? Uh, I, and forgive me if, if I'm not using perfect anthropology here. I mean, it's, it's just a fucking rough, uh, a rough draft, all right? So we, we continue on. And I'm, and I'm going to, again, please don't criticize my anthropology. I'm not an anthropologist. I just happen to know that, that some things trended in before other things. Clubs were probably first. That's probably true. What's next? Like swords and shit. So swords were invented around, around the time, probably, we're looking at like military tactics. Uh, you know, just very basic chariots and um, crossbows, bow, bow and arrows, they, I mean, they kind of raise the threat level. For real. I mean, when you think about, you know, ancient, medieval, medieval wars and, and, and uh, you know, that, the, the, the Iron Era, basically. The Iron Age. What was the Iron Age about? People uh, getting clans together and killing each other uh, with swords and shit, okay? And, and flails and so but again again what happens it, it levels off like the club the sword albeit more deadly uh, more interesting and 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 it there was even a culture probably that sprung from the sword thing I mean you in our video games we see have you know how uh, swords are glorified because they're interesting. You know, we made this metal device that slices and, and stabs and cuts and it and it kills people. So it's interesting. There, there's this interesting thing about, about swords and bows and, and medieval weapons and stuff like crossbows eventually. Um, but again, the threat level to humanity and, and I'll I mean, if you can't see that here, I, I guess I'll drag it up so that you can take a good look at the, the graph so far. So we're like right here, you know? I mean, so what does that look like? If we drew one straight back, or, or one straight up, we've still got plenty of human safety, right? I mean, so... Ow, I just stepped on something sharp. Uh, so... <laughs> Uh, you know, we're still good. The thing about swords and, and, and stuff like that, it's manageable. There is no crazy, barbaric psychopath that is going to exterminate the entire um, human species with a sword. He's he, no matter how fucking ambitious that motherfucker was, and you know he existed, he was only able to kill fucking a hundred men or so. It just wasn't enough. It's not there. The threat isn't big enough. It, it just is not. There is no um, threat of extinction for a sword. Guns. Guns. Guns have raised the... When they were invented, they have raised the threat level dramatically. Dramatically. Why? 
because unlike a sword or a dagger or a bow, a gun requires no skill, no expertise, no culture. It needs nothing but someone to pull a trigger and someone dies. That's it. So the threat level raised dramatically and, and it probably continues to raise as we advance our technology in guns. Well, it did. I mean, we went from, you know, muskets were about as effective as a bow, let's be honest, maybe less. But when real guns happened, like AR-15s and just semi-automatic weapons, we'll just put it that way, semi-automatic weapons were the real threat. Uh, but, it, but again, again, all we need to do is, is look to Africa to realize even in the worst, grossest fucking conditions of humanity that a, a, a gun is no threat to extinction. Uh, fucking mosquitoes are a greater threat to extinction than guns if, if you want to look at just like death toll uh, in, in Africa, okay? Again, the trend line... Although spiking levels off, and if we draw it straight up, our, or straight out, we've still got this block of safety. There's still safety. How many people died when a nuclear bomb went off? One nuclear bomb. If you can't see that, it's near the top. Now, I, I, I don't know the, I don't, I, I can't cite the numbers off the top of my head. I could go Google it right now and, and tell you um, what happened, how, how many people actually died or were uh, affected to the point where, you know, their livelihood was taken away to, so they couldn't procreate. How, how, how threatening was a nuclear bomb when it exploded? Well, I, I mean, I could probably count a number between one and a hundred uh, that, that would describe how many nuclear bombs it would take to kill every person on the planet. So the threat level when the nuclear bomb was invented was extremely fucking high. It, it absolutely changed how we look at warfare, how we, how we look at uh, fixing our problems, but that's management. Even now, we manage a nuclear bomb. But I want to, this, this is, this is where uh, the, the video, this is where I, I get to my point. Uh, Doom bots, this is where it is. Look at that trend. Look at the trend. And uh, I'll, I'll bring it real close. Now, does, does, I mean, when you look at this, I hate that my shadow's there. Doesn't this line look mysteriously like our invented line? Look at that. It just, I mean, it's just so resembling. Now, nuclear bombs... I mean, damn. So, what, what, I, what I want to point out is that it doesn't matter how devastating we know it's going to be. It doesn't matter that we know uh, something is going to bring us dangerously close to extinction. It doesn't matter that we, uh, that we know that, that the environment will be destroyed. Now, we didn't, we didn't uh, premeditate nuclear fallout, but we knew that we were gonna blow up a massive, uh, society, a, a massive portion of a society. We knew that um, it, it was going to be devastating on, on, the, um, on, the, on the 
death count on the death toll uh, when, when we dropped that nuclear bomb. When, when it was invented, we knew what could happen. So, wh what am I getting at? Well, I'm getting at, Doombots, that even when we know just how bad it can get, we still use the weapons that we invent. We always use the weapons that we invent. What, what happens as you see the trend of weapons climbing, escalating to the point where we're, we're just making it bigger and worse? We've gone from the club to the nuclear bomb. Now, what's after a nuclear bomb? Can, I mean, and, and this, this is a, a specialized question. Only some of us are actually going to be able to imagine something uh, much worse than a nuclear bomb. I, I, as a graduate of science and a, bio, a, a graduate of college with a science degree and, and a biology major, I already know the answer. I, I was actually um, heading into genetics. Maybe I go back, maybe I don't. I, so, so I understand um, what's, what's worse than a nuclear bomb. Now, and I'm sorry if I skipped poison gas and gas chambers. You know all about that. Uh, it was terrible. Not still, just the nuclear bomb is a little bit scarier than that. Uh, but anyway, I, I know what's worse. And I'll tell you what's worse. A, a virus that is genetically designed to destroy humans. Now, what happens when this virus gets invented? Well, it try, people will try to control it, like they did the nuclear bomb. And look at now, look at now. What, what happened after we dropped this nuclear bomb? We were so sure that it would be fine that we just, you know, did this in war. If you detonate a nuclear bomb, the entire world turns against you. This is how high the threat level of our weapons has become. So what happens after the nuclear bomb? What, where, how close are we to the threat level of extinction? It has nothing to do with politics. It has nothing to do with how, how you think we should govern. It has to do with the fact that we are getting dangerously close to premature extinction. We are this close. We are this fucking close to destroying the entire species. That's it. And, and it, it, it will be over nothing. It will be over some dumb religious, probably, or political crap. Uh, someone trying to take control. So, someone doing some dumb shit. And they wipe out the whole species. And, and if, if you can imagine a chimera virus that wipes out humanity very uh, surgically, because that's what it'll be, it will be surgical genocide, then, then you, can, you, can, you can't even, uh, you might be able to imagine something worse than that. And based on the trends of our technology, our science, and our weapons, we know we have a very good idea, a pretty, even though it's rough, it's a strong model of the trend that humanity has taken with respect to our technological advances in weaponry. It won't matter. None of this is going to fucking matter. All of this is going to be in vain if we do not handle this situation. I'm just trying to say that there, there is a way. I, I believe in a way to manage these numbers. And, and I know they're, they're invisible numbers right now. And, and that um, you, you might not see just how a theory is formed from these X's and Y's and blah, 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 blah. But, but to intelligent people... Who, who look at this graph and see it for what it is. I, I think that the only thing that's going to manage this is the surgical precision of a Scientocracy.
we have to understand that the that science has unleashed these demons into the world and that the only thing that can confront these demons is science itself. An analogy. What happens if you give a handgun to a chimpanzee? Give them a handgun and, and some bullets, show them how to use it, and, and, and tell me if you think that troop's going to do well. Do you think that, uh, do you think that the other males, uh, that, you, you give it to a male, of course, let's, let's give it to a male. What do you think's going to happen to the other males in that troop? This is the same experiment that we're running, except we're not doing any oversight. We've given the pistol to the chimps. Politicians and uh, world leaders and these people are completely ill-equipped to deal with the magnitude of horrifying genocidal potential that the weapons we are creating has given them. They have no genuine authority to manage this shit, and we're saying, oh, well, you know, we invented it, but you can use it. They're not even smart enough to comprehend what the fuck uh, is going to happen, and we're saying use it freely? Scientists and, and logicians are the only fucking people on this planet equipped to govern this fucking planet. Because we're the only people who don't have dumb biases, who, who, don't un, who, 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 don't, who fail to understand exactly the magnitude of the danger we're in, and who have even concern for our species. Billions of people are waiting for an imaginary fucking god to split open the clouds and save them or plant Islam permanently on earth so that they can have their virgins. So fucking uh, Jesus rides through the clouds on a white fucking horse. These people are insane and, and, you're, and you're saying that, oh, we should totally just, you know, let them have a vote. Let the insane fucking clown posse have, have, control the world. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. So th this, this is where I depart from a lot of you scientists. This is where I depart from th this, this agnosticism. You say you don't know. You are the only person who knows anything. These people know nothing. They're barbarians. They're dumb eight people from planet Earth. They're retarded. They're less evolved. They're ill-informed. And they're stupid. They're just fucking stupid. You, you want to see... Oh, you, you want to invent all these things. You want to, like, give humanity all these advances. And you expect them to do something good with it? They're greedy, selfish fucking ape people. They're just fucking ape people. And if you're not thinking... If you, okay, when your brain cycles, if you do not boot logic first, you're insane. You're an insane person. You're, you're someone who has a virus. A, a, it's a computer virus in your brain. No, don't get, no, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You have a computer virus in your fucking brain, and, and you've gone haywire. And if you don't recognize that booting logic first is absolutely necessary, you are disqualified from having authority on anything that's the discussion of where our society should go, how we should govern our society, and so on and so forth. Science is all that is equipped to deal with the problems that the 21st century is going to present based on the technological advances in human history and technological advances yet to be we can't stand by and let debates about fucking debates about fucking Nicole Arbor or um oh she's so offensive fuck you you people are brainless fucking idiots who you you want to talk about the most useless shit and, and then watch your world burn. The, the whole fucking 
uh, thing is, is organized around, you know what society is, you know what America is, the U.S., the, the U.S., this is a place where rich people steal the wealth from the blood, sweat, and tears of the slaves that live here, and you're welcome to be here. That's what the U.S. is. It's a useless place. It, it's just, oh, we want to feed some, uh, some fucking oligarchic, draconian, hegemonic dragons. And, and you can be a slave. You can be a part of that. This is useless. It's a useless endeavor. It's a waste of humanity. And we could be doing better. We should be doing better. And anyone who, who's making these disgusting comments on the internet about just... But now, useless crap, you are, you are by, you are implicitly supporting the premature extinction of our entire species because you are failing to address the fact that we are barreling towards it. And that's all I have to say, Doombots. Uh, please, you know, consider the graph. If you feel like I'm insane and... You know, I've gone off the rails. There, there's some weird, crazy, mad scientist who thinks he's a doctor or some crap. Then, you know, that's your opinion, and you're welcome to it. I'll see you in hell.